everyone. Today we're going to talk about the card catalog, how you get into it, and I'll tell you a little bit more about it. To get into the card catalog, you can either go from here, create a card, or you can go from here, card catalog. We're going to go in here, card catalog. Over on the left of your screen, we have several different boxes to choose from. Each of these gray boxes has a drop down menu. You can then click on the drop down menu and more options will pop up. You can see from this section here, actually I want to go down to the keep it in touch section. You can see from the cards that some of them have red arrows and some of them do not. The red arrows indicate that there is writing on the inside of the card. If it does not have a red arrow, that means the card is blank inside. If you want to see what the image is on the card or if you want to be able to read the text that's on the card, you're going to scroll your mouse over that card and it will make it larger for you to see it. Same thing with the red arrows. If you want to see what's on the inside of the card, you can make it larger and then words will be printed for you in the gray box to make it easier for you to see it. At the bottom of each card we have several icons. This icon indicates a postcard. That's the icon to your far left. Then we have the standard greeting card. We have the three panel card which is kind of like a brochure and then we have a heart and the heart allows you to click on that and add to your favorites. So if you find a card that you really love and you don't want to have to search for it the next time you come into the card catalog, just click on the heart and then next time you come in you can go to my cards which is over on your left click on my favorites and there's the card that we selected. Now let's say I don't want to search through all the cards I just I want a card that has dogs. I'm going to click in the search box dogs search cards and the cards with dogs will pop up. From here I decide that I would like to send a two panel card so I'm going to click on the two panel and this will take me into the section where I can personalize the card and I'll stop this video here because we'll get into personalizing the cards in the next video.